What's up guys, TechVault here. So, from perfecting the design to improving features under the hood, is the Samsung Galaxy S7 this year's dream smartphone? Let's find out. So, starting with the design. At first glance, you'd be forgiven for thinking the S7 looks almost identical to the S6. And that's because it is. Samsung reused the premium glass and metal finish it used on the S6, which finally saw Samsung move away from its reliance on plastic to materials which better reflected the flagship's price tag. On closer inspection though, you'll begin to notice the slight differences that makes the Samsung Galaxy S7 the best looking and feeling Galaxy ever. The corners are more rounded and the aluminium frame that sandwiched between the front and rear glass is less obtrusive with less of an extension than its predecessor. The Galaxy S7 sports the same 5.1 inch display as the S6. What I noticed almost immediately, however, was just how much of a fingerprint magnet the Samsung Galaxy S7 is. The glass looks great, but I found myself frequently reaching for my microfiber cloth to neaten up the appearance of the phone. There was hope that Samsung would address the single speaker setup it placed on the S6, but unfortunately they haven't. They still opted with the single speaker on the base of the S7. So, Samsung has revived two features from the Galaxy S5, with a micro SD card slot and dust and water resistance both appearing on the Galaxy S7. The micro SD port shares a tray with your NanoSum, which can be slid out of the top of the headset. That's not all the screen on the S7 has to offer. It also posts an always on functionality, a feature that both Samsung and LG on the G5 have used in the flagship handsets of 2016. The Samsung Galaxy S7 is a flagship smartphone, so it comes as no surprise that it's packing a punch under all that metal and glass. The specs aren't straightforward though, as Samsung has deemed it necessary to produce two variants of the S7, with the difference being the processor inside them. In the majority of the world, including Europe, you will find a Samsung-made Exynos processor inside the Galaxy S7 providing a huge amount of power. Those in the USA get something a little different, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor. Now, both processors are powerful and with 4GB of RAM packing each one of them up, you'll have enough going under the hood to not slow you down. Navigation is smooth on the S7, apps load promptly and Samsung's cleaner, fresher touch was feels more lightweight and easier to manage this time around. So they say, less is more. We've all heard the saying, but is it really true? Samsung certainly thinks so when it comes to the camera on the Galaxy S7. The 16 megapixel camera from the S6 is out, and now it's replaced with a 12 megapixel camera for the Samsung Galaxy S7. The camera does at least sit a lot flusher to the body and Samsung has kept the sensor size the same, but by reducing the number of pixels it means that each one is now larger, that allows more light in, therefore improving performance in low light and generating sharper, brighter shots. Every year, with every new flagship smartphone, I hope that someone's finally found the battery elixir we've all been craving for. So, has Samsung found the holy grail of smartphone technology in 2016 with the Samsung Galaxy S7? No, but don't let it put you off. The Samsung Galaxy S7 does take steps to try and improve battery performance. First up, Samsung's given us a bigger battery. About time. Cranking things up from a 2550mAh battery in the S6 to a far more acceptable 3000mAh power pack in the S7. The Samsung Galaxy S7 is a flagship device, so it comes as no surprise to find that it takes movies, TV shows, music and gaming in its stride. With a vibrant 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display and a whole heap of power under the hood, the Samsung Galaxy S7 is an excellent gaming on the go device. Games look quickly, run smoothly and look great with no hint of slowdown. The Galaxy S7 has no trouble running the most graphically intensive games and applications and the new curved design means that the phone is easier to hold for extended periods of time. The best way to describe the Samsung Galaxy S7? 
All I can say is perfection. It takes the best bits from the Galaxy S5 and the Galaxy S6 and blends them together into a quite brilliant smartphone. So, is it worth the upgrade? If you're coming out of a 2 year contract and looking for a new flagship smartphone, then absolutely, the Samsung Galaxy S7 will blow your 2 year old headset out of the water, as long as you're comfortable with the price. And yes, it's really worth it, you won't look back. And for those that want to trade in the Galaxy S6, the case isn't quite as strong. The S6 still is a great screen, a dazzling camera and plenty of power, so the upgrade might feel not big enough. That rounds up the review guys, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. So guys, this is Techful signing out and I'll see you guys in the next one.